Okay there, so as promised in my previous video, I'm going to start off uh, doing commentary of probably the best games of the tournament. I'm not going to do all the games, that's not possible, that's not humanly possible, so I'm going to choose a few games and I'm going to go with that. So which one should I start with? Well, let me start with this uh, this game, okay? So puh. I think the great one is just watching it, that me, and I'm going to resign right away. There you go. So, so this game is between uh, Unicorn and uh, Snipein. It's a Crown Hits uh, tournament. And uh, the map. What's the map? The map is Yucatan. Yucatan means lots of resources. You can see a lot of turkey running around. And uh, players will have to make sure that they play it really quick. They move to Feudal Age, move to Castle Age much quicker than other maps because they have lots and lots of resources right so let me introduce the players number one well sniping playing on the left hand side of the map you can say and um, sniping is somebody you have oh, more seen a lot of in my channel and uh, on my channel and uh, he's quite a good player and uh, he's playing with the potions not a sieve players generally take for tournaments but yeah he has taken the uh, Russian yeah I'm sorry Persian not Russian simply that's not a save in native empires and uh, we'll see what he does right so who is he playing he's playing unicorn I don't think you have seen unicorn at all on this channel so he's a new player uh, on this channel not in respect to the game he's a good player he's a very very good player and um, he's playing as the mayans so persians versus mayans and uh, if you look at the map right there's a water channel that separates these players and there are there are ways in which you can cross the uh, water channel there are many many ways you cannot you cannot uh, wall all of these right you can probably try walling a few but I think it's a pointless activity there are around seven to eight channels by which you can cross you can even put a dog and put a transport ship, ship and cross the water so it's a bit pointless and uh, regarding putting a dog there is no big fish there's no big fish yeah that's for sure there's no big fish there's some show fish but it's not worth it all that's the chuck wall crawling right so I'm gonna fast forward a bit and uh, because it's traditional and uh, then I'll look at each boy's map right so this is a tournament where uh, there are nine players participating out of now and uh, I'm not really aware of the prize money but some prize money and some prizes have been promised so I'm sure Chronids and this introductory tournament will keep up their promise right so Mayans, Mayans will look for either archers or the famous evil warriors but I'm not sure whether they're going to do the evil warriors because playing the Persians, the Persians can bring out the knights and the evil warriors are not really good against the knights to be very uh, honest and uh, so yeah I have a feeling that uh, uh, Unicorn will look to hit Castle Edge as soon as possible, he's got his tone close by and uh, he's got some most one over here so get those plume archers in the map those cheap and extremely fast moving plume archers so i believe that should be the plan for unicorn about sniping well yeah he has to go for probably probably a few storms and uh, knights knights is something to surely go for and uh, i hope he uh, Put some pressure on Unicorn right in the world here because uh, Mayans are afraid in reserve and uh, put it in game serve too because Persians, well, they have their legitimate you know, as war elephants. I don't think they're going to go for war elephants, especially on a Yucatan map where it's difficult to search for resources. You know, the map is not that great. And, uh, uh, it's lots of scouting going so that's, that's all of the scouting information that we get. Uh, he has done decent scouting, he knows his opponent, he knows that there's water in this map. But he doesn't know how much water is there. Probably not much. You know, it's the Yucatan. There won't be much water. So, you can So, Unicorn has started his field age uh, research and um, has Snipe started. Snipe is almost going to end. Oh, what is it doing? What is it doing? 
is going to do a town center rush. <laughs> so he's going to do a town center rush with what? Nine villages? I don't think that's a good idea. I and mean, there is, do you see idle time? That's not good. That's not good. But whatever. Where is he going to? Is this the place? Or maybe here? Yeah, this, this is a good place. This is out of range for the town center and uh, the defense is one tower going on. But I, I believe uh, the best strategy is to you know, attack these villages. There are only nine villages. Uh, standard is 15 and he's come with only nine. So that's not good. That's not good. And he could have taken all his villages and attacked these villages. And it got a game over for sniping to be very, very honest. 48% on the TC. I think he's going to finish the 6th TC because he's got well than this. Uh, this is idle time for Unicorn, but he should have killed all these villages. He should have got all this stuff. I don't think he's aware of the town center rush because he doesn't know that the Persian town center has 4,800 health and he has 2,400 health. My flower, any civilization, every civil has 2,400 health. I, I, I don't, don't know what he's doing. He should have gone, he should have gone around all those villages. But yeah, the rush has been done. <laughs> The rush has been successful, can I say that? I probably don't know. He's repairing it. I don't think that's a good idea. He should, he should just to leave this town center and go somewhere else. I have to say, where is the gold? Where is the gold? Yeah, there's some gold over here. Delete it and make your town center over here. And sniper and seen that area? No, he hasn't. So yeah, that should be the other plan rather than repairing this town center. Because that's a point of exactly. If you look at Unicorn, he doesn't have any gold. So he shouldn't repair this, he can't repair this rather. He should just, just go and come put it on here and bring his uh, second town center up. He's, he's trying to do a watchtower over here, which is a bit stupid. You can see a watchtower has been done by sniping, he's taking a village around, it's in a watchtower area. So this watchtower will probably go down and there's a defensive watchtower being put up. But uh, these are these are stupid activities. Uh, he shouldn't repair this town center, you cannot win the fight, right? So it's just it's just pointless. It's just pointless. I'm sure he hasn't played a game where he has been town center rushed. Otherwise, he would know that this is a pointless. And probably he hasn't clicked this town center to see the age of this town center. He's probably completely oblivious of it. And he's just doing something very really stupid. There you see, he's just wasting wood. Wood is becoming zero. He won't be able to hit this town center. I'm really sad about that, but yeah, you should just collect wood away. You can see more towers going on for sniping. Sniping 22 minutes in the game. I feel sniping should put some pressure with some army. He's got 334 wood, and he's not making army. He has got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, um, 10. Yeah, 10 is the maximum of abilities uh, town center will have, and uh, uh, it will fire as much as 15 with fire. So sacrificing one villager there that's that's humanity and, uh, that's good that's good so he's taking his villages away and, uh, and he's going to make a town center there you go the town center is coming up right so he's going to take all his villages and run away sniping wall the number of villages he had he should have attacked uh, unicorn but now he didn't so two towers coming up which is pretty smart because and, uh, sniping can even see it so you can see sniping has vision about uh, this town center so yeah uh, this 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 tower shouldn't have gone up all these villages should have attacked him attacked these villages this tower shouldn't have gone up so i really don't know whether i can say the town center rush was a success but yeah uh, it was fun to watch at least and uh, let's see what happens now so unicorn has built a lot of towers so one two three four five towers this one's probably to mine this turn but he built five towers i don't know why sniping has put a parrot away but uh, he's finding a lot of stone i don't think that's a good job that's a good choice you should Put some more on food, that we're very honest. How much food does he have? Yeah, he doesn't have much food. He should put much on food and he shouldn't bother about stone. Probably wants to bring up a castle. Probably this is the best place for a castle. Right? Fantastic place. Sniping has his uh, 
is counter way also yeah question i don't know whether it's intentional or it's just the left is count but yeah Snipe, the beauty from the 39 villagers and uh, sniping with 36 so that's, that's poor i have to say it's really poor from sniping even after doing a town center rush it's not ahead of the villagers uh, it's not smart he hasn't played this game well he has an idle villager over here so you can see um, this is smart, this is really smart from uh, Unicorn. He's just moving across the map, he's building archer range and parax. He's going to pressurize Sniping because Sniping frankly hasn't done anything exceptional after that town center rush, which was which is sloppy to say. He should have gone almost all his villages and uh, done a rush instead of those nine villages. I think it's very lucky that he's uh, managed to survive if he was attacked by all the villages of Unicorn, he would have lost the game right away. It's a very, very dangerous strategy to do this. Now he's clicked Castle Age and he's going up. It's already 33 minutes and uh, where is Unicorn right now? How far is he? He's very far from Castle Age, but um, putting down a lot of farms right now. He's got this huge area. I don't know how much he's scouted it, but he hasn't. He's got a huge area over here. He's got gold over here. He's got two bulls over here. So it's good. It's good. This area looks quite promising for him, but uh, and Snipin doesn't have a vision of that area. He's being attacked right now. There you see, he's trying to build a tower. I don't know why Snipin uh, is not doing anything. Uh, not really. He didn't see it. Uh, this, is, this is incredible. This is incredible. I really don't know what Snipin is looking at right now. But yeah, he's putting down a castle over here and he's not seeing this tower. It's incredible. We're gonna bring this tower down. That's 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 good. That's good. But you can see archers and skulls are already positioned to harass the economy of sniping. And even Con I have to say has played a very good game. You have to be town center rush, which is not easy. You can see knights have been killed in as expected and uh, a castle has been put to bring down this tower and to take care of this stone but you can see there is army in the base and uh, it's, it's, it's risky right now he's not doing a lot of uh, um, uh, he just hasn't put a lot of people on lumber camp so i don't know how he'll get all the wood but uh, the plan right now is only put a uh, goal that's why the knights are coming out and, uh, Knights are probably going to take the towers down. He's going to take this tower down also, surely. But uh, no, he's going to go and carry some into the town center. And this original base has been attacked right now by archers. That's that's fine. That's fine. We've got a town center. Right? That's fine. We we'll keep these archers away and uh, unnecessary losing the archers. Uh, now well, they are outside. So yeah. That is smart from Unicorn. He hasn't lost hope. He's putting down one more town center over here, so that's good. He has two bases, and Titan has absolutely no idea of base number two. Yes, no, I, he should have seen the wood click, but I don't think he's not even seen the tower putting, being put over here, so I don't think he's going to see wood being cut away. That's, that's not possible. I mean, the best player is going to see that. Right, so, so yeah, there's enemy outside his base, and uh, he's not doing much to be very honest. He just has two stables, and he's not even building a lot. He's not even making a lot of knights. The probable reason is he wants to go Imperial Age really quick, and that's the, that's the castle, and that's the food voucher production. Uh, repository or whatever it is, but uh, yeah, he has a lot of resources. But I think he's gonna click Imperial Age rather than uh, bringing out Bloom Dungeons. So, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna click Imperial Age. Has he clicked it? Yeah. Uh, uh, probably he has in this time. You know. He did, he did. I don't know, I don't know what to plan, but uh, now let's look at uh, sniping has how far is he? Sniping is uh, not very far away from Imperial Age. He doesn't have a lot of army right now, but he's pretty confident that uh, is not going to do a lot of damage. There you see, that's Imperial Age is starting. And he's doing uh, Eagle Scouts, that's not very smart. He's doing a Plumed also, when he can't, but uh, right now he's housed. He's making a lot of house over here. Probably can put a wall this down with his houses so that the, the knights wouldn't come in. 
for right now. He's invested a lot in villages, so he's not going for the Imperial Age, the operated Imperial Age. Fishing ships have come out, which is which is not good, which is not smart. But just to make sure that something comes up. So there's just one show fish over here. And there's probably one more over here. So 200 plus 200, 400 foot out of the So I'm sure that was not worth it. Put me aside 5 into 5, probably 4. So this round 300 foot gone. 400 foot not worth it. <laughs> so yeah. So one town center plus one over there. So two town centers. He's even upgraded to Eagle Warriors from the scouts. And uh, he's waiting for sniping to bring out the first threat. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. First tribe, second, third being queued. Knights are ready. Knights have been done with their defense upgrades. They still haven't done their attack upgrades. And uh, in fact, the Steven War is standing. He hasn't made any more units, which is a bit surprising. And uh, there you go. Eagle War will be unleashed on these knights. They're, they won't be good against the knights. So the knights have been upgraded with defense upgrades. And uh, I'm sure they're not going to be of any use right now. So you see, his blind defensive is not going for these villages to go this in the land side of this castle, and uh, it's going to bring down this town center. That would be, be really good. And uh, yeah, you will see this town center. Oh, no, that's a lot of, lot of and army fake warriors coming down. It's going to bring down this trap for sure. But these two traps are going to bring down this castle for sure. But no one's repairing it. And that will go down. Yeah, that will go down. Uh, unfortunately, all these uh, eagles will also go down. That was too late, the unicorn. So, yeah, eagles will go down. They're not going as nice. And uh, I'm sure they will bring down the threads before they will come out tonight. Yeah, that's what the plan is. So, right now, 70 pop for sniping unicorn with 87 pop. That's because he's doing this stuff over here with sniping. is totally unaware of. Look at the line of sight of sniping. I did, I, did, did he see something? Yeah, he should see this. He should see these farms. So, I don't know. He could have sent one knight over there for scouting. He didn't. And uh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Unicorn is checking his villages across the map. And he's going to do a uh, town center rush of his own, is he? <laughs> I really don't know whether Unicorn is aware of uh, the Persian's unique capability of doing a town center rush. Don't think he knows that. That is stupid. He had a good game, a good opportunity to, you know, put one more Thompson down over here and continue with this game because Snipin had no idea and Snipin is behind. It's far behind. This is stupid. Uh, okay, he's putting down a castle, so that, that's not bad. That's not a bad idea. And uh, what is he doing? What is uh, Snipin doing? Okay, so yeah. All the villages have moved across the map and they're probably over here. No, they're probably over here. Yeah. They're coming forward, what are they doing? This is rubbish. And he hasn't even put the towns in the range of this town center, so it's pretty rubbish. As he's losing villagers, and probably he's just, he's just lost his game, he just lost his mind. They probably might even go and try this town center with the villagers, or I don't know. He's cranked out, the cavalier of is coming, and uh, this will go down. This castle will go down thanks to the cavaliers of sniping and uh, good game i have to say good game and uh, i feel unicorn has potential to play a little more better he could have you know continued over here i think got pissed off with that town center rush everywhere you will get pissed off who likes the town center rush that's rubbish right so yeah sniping and uh, sniping never boomed you know if you can say so it really really boomed and uh, I feel it's scale and game over. You can see uh, uh, Unicorn pretty pissed off at Town Center Rush. Uh, I feel it's going to resign, but he's played a very good game, Unicorn, despite being rushed. And he still has two Town Centers up and running. He still has a lot of villages. And uh, this mad rush could have been avoided. He could have put up Town Center over here. He could have, he could have put up Castle over here, or probably even here, you know? So, GG. So that's a great game, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty unique by uh, uh, by Sniping. I think I've seen a town center rush tutorial on my site, and uh, Sniping executing it uh, at not to perfection, I have to say, because he was almost dead over here with his nine villages. But uh, whatever it is, at the end, uh, it's uh, 
game one and won by sniping against uh, unicorn so well played uh, sniping uh, two points to you and the well played unicorn you have played really well this game despite being rushed and uh, hope you can put together a better game and win the next one right so there you go so let's look at the achievements and uh, you can see clearly uh, way ahead in score sniping and uh, I'm a little uh, worried about his uh, society stats there you go villager 54 that's not good either he never boomed and uh, probably wanted to finish the game as soon as possible because uh, it's been already one hour into age of empires time so that's not good that's not good if you're doing a town center rush you have to finish the mm. game really quick and uh, there you go standard times to go to each age probably very late castle age because of the rush and uh, a great game you can see economy stats uh, wood and stone collected by unicorn is more than sniping so that's that's incredible i have to say so great game and uh hope you guys enjoyed it i'll be back with more bye, -bye.